Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and it's finally time for Brick Hall 100. And wow, what a set of packages we've been sent. Whew! So with that absolutely huge amount of packages that we've received from absolutely all of you, from every corner of the world, how very generous of you, uh, I think we may have to absolutely hit this at a running pace to get through them all, or maybe even just turn this into two videos uh, to give them the time they definitely deserve. Uh, so in order to help me with this process, I've recruited Mrs Hood. Hello. Hello Mrs Hood, how are you? I'm very well, Robin. Thank you. How are you? I'm great. Uh, very keen to get on with this great big stack of presents. It's like Lego Christmas in the Hood household. Well, you say that, but it's miles better than any Christmas you've had for the last few years. I just can't believe the number of packages you've received and it puts me to shame. It does. And, and to be honest, I know they're all Lego, so they're all going to be really good as well. So none of these uh, packages where it looks good, but it turns out to be socks. No, everyone should be, uh, well, either lovely sort of drawings or something. I don't really know what to expect or definitely bricks. Ooh. Well, I, I am disappointed because I always thought you liked socks. <laughs> right. Should we make a start? Let's get on with this. Okay. First package, please. A Assistant. Right, this first package is from Jeffrey. It is from Jeffrey Karajnik from Collegeville, Pennsylvania. So let's try and get into this. We're trying to work out what we're going to do here in Ooh. terms of format, but I'm assuming I need to talk a bit while Robin is Ooh. debagging. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know what oh, there's Ooh, a letter. A letter, right. I will read the letter. I'm assuming we're allowed to read out everyone's letters. Ooh. And a box that's either, I think that's what it is rather than it's just Ooh. been, yeah, it's been crushed to fit in. Right. So there is the wonderful well, donut shop. Let me read Ooh. the letter. Yep. So it says, Dear Robin, I put in one of the coffee shop sets from Target here in the US. Not sure if you can get this in the UK. And a Lego movie sticker roll that I got two of when they were on offer. I added some unique parts from a bulk lot that I acquired like the weird Minecraft green part that I figure you can use to make into an underwater plant. I also included some parts from my 1990s sets when I was a kid that my mum very nicely kept for me all these years. Oh, Good job, mum. Um, an oh, wow. Entron minifigure to add right. diversity. I don't remember seeing one of them in your city before. Two yellow doors that I cannot wait to see what you come up with. Well, they're totally going into the harbour, I think. They're awesome. Brilliant. As always, keep up the amazing hard work on Brick Nottingham. Super fan. Oh, thank you. Xanthic Dragon, yep. a.k.a. Jeff. Yes, wonderful. Oh, we've got lots of decorated bricks there. A few Ooh. of these discs from the um, Dimensions thing. Clamshell, nice. Cool. A cup with a number one on it. Oh, I think he's called a creeper or something like that. Oh, he's, he's um, good. It's like a digital skeleton. Well, he's Minecraft robot. with this oh, square, right. and that is the uh, zombie chaser thing. Creeper? Yeah, something like that. Wonderful. I've got to say my favourite is the doors, but this uh, donut shop is awesome as well. So Ooh. that's really oh, good. Oh, I think you've got another dog. Yeah, a Dalmatian. They're nice. Brilliant. I was trying to work out why Dalmatians always came with the fire station sets. It turns out they've actually got quite a history as a working dog. Um with firefighters. I didn't know that. So anyway, there's a bit of a fact for you. And then this is loads of little stickers. So I can put these all around the house, you'll be glad to hear. Yeah. Wonderful. Oh my god, oh no, they are really cool though. <laughs> so this is a good start. So if this is a, uh, I'm just going to push it all to one side. Something. <laughs> I really like him. I actually have him on one of my wanted lists, uh, just as a weird sort of green bug. What, <laughs> I, I don't what, know. What on earth would you use that for in Brick Nottingham? Well, people have encouraged me to sort of embrace a bit of Minecraft and maybe have him underground because I think these live underground. Oh, right. Um, so anyway. This is my complete lack of knowledge. I, I have no knowledge of Minecraft at all, but mm -hmm. I mean, he looks rather fantastic he as well. amazing. Very sort of uh, lanky sort of robot. So so Skeleton I, I thing. haven't warned you about this, but what? I'm going to say this in front of everyone live. Okay. Um, this is my big test for you. Oh yeah, what's that? Can you no. recant any of the uh, uh, any of the set numbers? Four zero three yeah, five eight. Cheating. I just read. That's 
So this is this is a test of how good you are. Oh, how many no. of these piece parts you know. You know there's a thing called research. But anyway, <laughs> next package. Let's go for it. Right, we'll do a bigger one this time. Um so Thank you very one, much though for that one. Yes, no, that's amazing. Mm. Great start. Um, so this one is from Freddie. Freddie, in the UK by the looks of things. Yes. All right, I'll get into this. I've just anonymised a lot of the packages in case they had your address on and other or such our stuff. <laughs> well, uh, oh, there's another letter. This is like a brick haul, this. I've got the, oh, my goodness. Right, so we've got this is wonderful a under letter. the sea parts here. Oh, right. right. You might have to either paraphrase that or we might have to let pause me, it so we can read it. Let me... I'll tell you what, I'll read you. <gasps> A huge shark! <gasps> oh, he's Brr. amazing. Oh, this is lovely. Right, I am going to read all of this. <laughs> so, uh, dear Robin Hood Bricks, whoop whoop. Yeah, whoop whoop. Congratulations on 100 brick hauls. I discovered your channel back at the start of the pandemic here in the UK, or at least around this time last year. Your videos are always great, and it's cool to see your personality and confidence grow across the many videos. They never fail to entertain me with your jokes. Having a whole three videos a week really gives structure. Oh, my word. I love your unique city and build style, inspired by the images at the back of old Lego catalogues and instructions. They're the best. They really inspired me as well. As much as it pains me seeing all these pieces being bought for your collections or future <laughs> builds... I know at some point they will be used for something great. I'm looking forward to all your future bills, whether I know about them or not. I hope the pieces I've sent you come in handy or inspire a build of some kind. Oh, I'm sure they will. I have a range of stickered pieces. That's what I'm going through. Advanced apologies for the state of some of them. I think they can be saved using the hot tea technique. I've also included some tread plate stickers some pieces from the original Daily Bugle set, some minifigures, including my sig fig in glasses. Is that him there? He's in glasses. Super. Yeah. Hi, Freddie. And some other parts that may or may not be useful to you. Enjoy them or not, depending on whether you can find a use for them. We've got an Atlantis shark, got a mermaid body, oh, she power miner. Been... Cool. Ex gamer. So just for, it finishes off by saying, I hope your channel grows more to the 200th hall. Your channel member and supporter, Freddie, aka Just Add Bricks. Yay, thanks, Freddie. Cool drinks. Yeah, these are great. Ooh. So you know that I'm an absolute sucker for a stickered piece through <laughs> absolute load here. We've got a great bag of stuff for under the sea, including more of these tentacle pieces that I've got a few of already but definitely could use more one of those flame pieces. This one's a bit different from the one I've got, and it's got orange tip, okay. so that's really good. Got an Egyptian sort of headdress there, a skateboard, loads of spiders and a bat, and all those mini thing figures and stuff. And I think we've got a sound brick here, so let's just try that out. Ooh, I think that's the dinosaur one. That is a weird noise. <laughs> I'm going to look that in the catalogue. I think it's supposed to be a dinosaur roaring. It's very odd sounding, and I don't have that one. I do have the doorbell dog barking one. I do have the alien noise one, and it's definitely neither of those. Oh, there's another bag here, actually. Ooh. Plates and bowls and starfish and shells and, and guns. handcuffs that come in useful. Handcuffs, yeah, well... <laughs> 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 we've, uh, we've got quite a lot of handcuffs already, actually. But, in uh, the Lego city. In a, yeah, that's what I was talking about. What were you talking about? You'll give me a bad name. It's supposed to be child-friendly. Got a bathtub. I don't know what I'd use that for, but uh, it'll be fun trying to work it out. That's probably why I got sent it, because they couldn't work uh, it out either. I'll tell you something. <laughs> and I big, think... ugly rock pieces. Wow. I think that is part this of This desk the, is going to yeah. totally fill up very soon. <laughs> Three, four, five, and a boulder. Excellent. Wonderful. Wow. Thank you so much for that. That is absolutely amazing. I can sense that we're definitely going to be going into two videos at this so. rate yeah. <laughs> with all this yeah. wonderful good stuff. So thanks very much, Freddie, for that. That's amazing. Uh, I'm really interested in this sound brick now. Oh, it sounds weird. It sounds weird. Maybe the battery's running low. Yeah, anyway, right. So uh, on to the next package. Okay, so we've got one more, and I don't know if we know who that one is No, from. we don't know who that's from. It's only if they had a return dress on the outside, I wrote it on the front. So we've got this package, you may recognise it. And we do have... Ooh. Ooh. 
a thing that says a wooga, which might be meaning. I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. I really wanted that. That is the uh, sticker from the set 60290. Yeah, it's still oh. a cheat because look, it's written on there. I may as well be honest. But yeah, that's the recent skateboard park uh, one. Hey, that's fantastic. I don't have to buy that set now or look out for this. That's brilliant because that character is one of the ones off the video set. So that's great on its own. And we've got some bits. Is there a letter in there? No, there isn't. So, so we don't have a letter, one, but I think this is a are. sig fig. Somebody who looks like that. So I'll keep that in a little bag, just so we know that's a sig fig, so we can Super keep it intact. Hair. Love that. Yeah, very sharp suit, actually. I don't yeah. I don't recognise that suit. Very nice indeed. All yellow skin, <laughs> which is great. And then we've got lots and lots of slopes. We've got some decorated stripy ones. Oh, they're good. We've got some computer screens. We've got oh cash, cash register type dishes. ones. We've got all sorts of different ones there. Oh, I like that be... one with the octopus sign. I'll probably be able to yeah. use that under the sea. Those cash registers would be great for the supermarket, won't they? Oh, yeah. Or um, even maybe the fairground. And a few more retro-y ones. Oh, I've got that fish one, but you could do, definitely have two from undersea sort of base or something like that. Oh, lovely. Yes, so thanks very much for that. Let's just double check there's no name on the back. No. Nope. Thanks, whoever you are. Thanks very much. Right. Right, this one. Sorry, I'll show you. I'm not used to doing this. I should hold it in front of the camera. Not behind the camera. <laughs> this one is a letter. So if you open that one and then while I'm reading that, maybe I give you a big parcel to undo. Yep, fine. Just check there's nothing in that. Oh, we've oh, got it something has in got it. Oh, it's got some stickers. Or something. Oh, no, it's oh, pictures. pictures. Right, right, so I'll do the oh, photos I'll while you this. read then. Oh, dear Robin, my name is Harry Green, a.k.a. Sharky Brick on YouTube. I am 10 years old and I live in Beverly, East Yorkshire. Oh, I know Beverly, you yeah. You know Beverly very well. Um, Lego building is my hobby and I've been inspired by your builds and I've been watching your videos for over a year and a half now. I think you're one of the best YouTubers and internet One creators. of the best. <laughs> You'll get a big head at the end of this. I'll have to bring you down to earth, I think. I've been inspired by all of your buildings and I'm so excited to see the fairground when you have finished it. Oh yeah, me too. I love your imagination and ideas to build. In fact, I've tried to build your really big city on a smaller scale, of course, and I call this Brick Beverly. Yay, Brick shops, Beverly. restaurants, beach and fairground. I wonder if he's done a minster. Yeah, that's, that's something to try, Harry. Try a minster. Um, please find and close some pictures of my creations from Harry. Wonderful. So, yeah, they are wonderful pictures. It looks like we've got a hospital here. Looks very nice with the stretchers all piled up and the ambulance out back. So that's really good. And some treatment rooms and so on. Looks like we've got, I can't work out what that is. Is that just um, the beginning of a, of a new road system that's built up with a sort of hidden area underneath? Much like my fairground, I think. And then we've got my favourite, I think, a sort of jungle scene where they've got some sort of snake outbreak in a river. <laughs> so that looks fun. And they're dealing with that. So that's really good. Oh, yeah, that's super. fantastic. Thanks Wonderful. very much. Thank you, Harry. I'll put that letter safely to one side and then we'll work on the next one, which is a bit bigger. Right. There we go. Here is another one. Great big <laughs> one in a bag from also from the UK. So I'll try and get into that. Oh. Actually, I think while you're unlocking oh, we've got a letter. It would be good to set Harry some homework, I think. So I think we want to see a picture of Beverly Minster. Yeah. Beverly Minster a la Lego. Oh, there we go. I'll okay. give that to you. Oh, wow. I haven't seen this before. I don't oh, even know what this is. Before you put okay. that in front of the screen, let's have a read because this is... And then we've got some pictures on here as well. Um, so, hello, Robin. Congratulations on reaching Brick Hall 100 edition of Robin Hood Bricks. Whoop, whoop. Really enjoy the style and content of your videos. Please find enclosed additional minifigures. I hope the community settle well in Brick Nottingham. So you could show it. Now. Right. As you can see, the mi minifigs of Malice are gathering for their delayed 2020 party in the park. That must be the big picture. We Recent can in a minute. events have taken its toll on this once thriving town. On stage, the major issues a rallying cry to the town minifigs. Better stop dreaming of the quiet life because it's the one we'll never know. Stop apologising for the things you've never done. Because time is short and life is cruel, but it's up to us to change this town called Malice. 
Rue at NG22. So I think we've got a Nottingham person. Yeah, it's a there. relatively local person, NG22. Yeah, town called Malice. Wonderful jam song. Yeah. So let's have a closer look at this. We've got a great big building site in the corner, which I like very much. We've got a partially constructed building, a wonderful crane there. And what is this area here? Is this, oh, it's just roads and so on with traffic going on. Yep. Then we've got a big park with a wonderful stage yeah. at the end now with a I band performing, loads of people if, watching. That I must be the festival. Well, I wonder if it's in, uh, in Wollerton Park. Yeah, maybe. Uh, and then we've got the beach with loads of uh, beach umbrellas and so on and loads of people with loads of dolphins and a, uh, uh, that's almost like the facade of a long distant uh, lighthouse in the corner there. That looks really great. I love the crane. I think the crane is the coolest thing there. And the building site looks really good. Uh, so that looks fantastic. Yeah. This also looks fantastic. I definitely would fail the number challenge on this one because <laughs> I've never even seen it before. I really haven't. I, don't, I mean, is this brand new or old or what? I don't even know. I don't recognise it at all. But it's definitely going to be useful in the city because we've got loads and loads of characters that can be used. I love the sushi yeah, chef that's there. Brilliant. I don't know what he's holding up, but it's good fun. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Yeah, and a baby in a push chair and all and sorts. And a gardener. I, I, I love his, or I love the facial hair going on there. That's yeah. amazing. Very good. Right, well, thank you so much for that set. That is absolutely wonderful. Brilliant. Thank you, Rue. Yep, so I'll put that to one side. Got still right. going. We've got one more. One That's, more. Uh, we don't know who that one's from. I don't from know who that one's either. from yet, but let's There's turn a letter. it into I can it. See a letter. Yep, I'll pass that to you. I don't think you've had, you've had this many letters. Oh, oh my word! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I've been moaning about not being able to get these. Do you want to start the letter <laughs> okay. while I tip them out? <laughs> God, you know, I don't think you've ever reacted that way to any present I've ever given you. Um, so this is from JJ and Andrew Field. Um, so Dear Robin Hood Bricks. That's an appropriate name, Field. <laughs> Very good. Dear Robin Hood Bricks, oh. your Lego city is tremendous. Your channel is excellent. You've been a real inspiration to us during lockdown as you've offered a great sense of fun, enjoyment and showed us how to make the most of Lego sets old and new. My dad likes seeing his thousand year old sets from the 80s. You One thousand monster. whole years old. <laughs> <laughs> I love seeing my sets from modern times. Oh. Being huge fans, we thought long and hard about what to send you. So listening to you, we decided to get you some new Lego sheep. Yay! These are brand new from Britlink. Yeah. Um, part, um, what does that say? Uh, parted out, parted out items from, from the, the new, new Disney, Disney Mickey, Mickey and Minnie sets. Set. Right. Sorry, that's lingo. Wow. I we know you love Lego animals, so we enclose four great new sheep. These We've... are going straight on Far Corner Farm. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Um, they'd look great actually surrounded around Alex on his golden bale of Alex the goat, yeah. Straw. straw. Um, so we've got a couple of ideas where they could go, but of course it's up to you. They're a gift to say thank you. What a bargain. No, oh, they are. They're <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> I really um, didn't expect to get something like this, I must say. I slumped been able to order any myself. They're not available. <laughs> uh, so perhaps they might appear near your modular hairdresser. The barbers. Oh, God, here come all the awful puns. Maybe they could no, <laughs> go near your harbour area. Harbour area. <laughs> Regardless, wherever they go, visitors are bound to flock. God, you're fantastic, your family. <laughs> and they will hopefully bring joy to you. Uh, -E. you the it. worst of these terrible comes, puns came from my dad, so I apologise. With best wishes, nice one, Dad. <laughs> with best wishes for the future from JJ and Andrew Field. Wow, thank you so much. I, you know, of all the things, well, I didn't know what I was going to get at all, but to um to to get these sheep, I just didn't expect that at all. They're still not available for purchase on bricks and pieces, and I'm just trying to save a little bit of money. But you've saved me all the bother. Thank you so much for that. That's amazing. Right, on to the next one then. Thank you. Okay, so this one is from Spencer. Spencer, from the States, from Carlsbad, California, 92008. Zip code. Right, so something from state size. This is made at the long distance, comparatively. So we've got an, an envelope within an envelope there. So I've better cut into this one as well. And we have, that looks like a letter. Okay, thank you. Hold on, what's it say? We've got a little message here. 
Got Open on Brick Hall 100. There we go. Oh, That's you've fine. got artwork. Oh, wonderful. This is amazing. <laughs> and a bag of stuff. <laughs> okay. So this is from Spence. So, hi, Robin. I hope you enjoy these pieces for Brick Nottingham. In this package, you'll find minifigs, accessories, animals and more. Thank you so much for inspiring me during this crazy time. I've loved this Brick Nottingham adventure. From seeing the GBC to the subway station and to even becoming a member of the channel. Yay! Thanks so much for this amazing experience so far. Here's to many more to come. Spencer. Wonderful. And we've got some yep. pictures to show. So um, it's brilliant. So we've got I Love Brit Nottingham. We've got Patented Hot Tea Technique, Caution Hot. Uh, we've got... SSB. Oh, you're going to say it in full. I was going to say Super Secret Police. Uh, we've got... It's Brit Hall O'Clock. And I think that's a picture of you. <laughs> oh, yes, I think it is, actually. That's the moustache, isn't it? <laughs> Badoing. Right, we'll that give a badoing to that. Badoing. There we go. Brilliant. Thanks, so loads Spence. more bits in there. Let's just tip them all here so we can Ooh. have a better look. What have we got? We've got bottles. We've got snakes. We've got a column there. We've got a picture of Bane that I can use. Holding cells, Ooh. stickers, hinge bricks. What's that? Rats. That is a pair of curtains. Oh. For, I think it came from a sort of VW camper caravan or similar anyway all sorts oh, of stuff there street names keep out. keep out wow they'll be really useful so thank you very much for all of those that one might be beyond salvage but the rest look absolutely great so thank you so much for those spencer very greatly appreciated right is it one more in the first half uh, no we've oh, no, no, we've got one loads more, more. We've got some oh big right ones. we've got some big ones coming which is good so here's another one from the uk Looks like it'll be a bit easier to get into if I just do the entire back. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. relatively small. Sellotaped in there. That's, That's well kind of like packaged. Amazon do it, that is. And we have got a card from Rob at Lost a Brick. <laughs> and it is a cow! Oh. <laughs> a wonderful brown cow with a pink nose and white horns. And he's looking rather fantastic. Um, she. She, sorry, yes, she. <laughs> yeah, can you tell? Yeah, yeah, it's a she, all right. So, yeah, that's really great. So I wonder if that will join the other uh, cow that I've got on my um, train wagon that's going uh, off to uh, a farm in the countryside. Oh, <laughs> or oh. whether it should just join the uh, black and white ones that I've got on Far Corner Farm. I think she should join this one. Yeah. Well, so they'll have two different types of cow on there. So that's wonderful. Oh, that can join the animal brigade over here. Right. Wonderful. Thank you, Rob. Thank you very much, Rob. Okay, so this next one I'm going to hand over comes with a story which you're going oh, to tell right. on, Robin. So, yeah. So this... this uh, this is a good friend of the channel who uh, is... Oh, there's a, there's a letter here as well, so you can have that. Uh, and this is from uh, Sweden, and it is from Matthias. And Matthias has a good sense of humour, so he thought it might be quite funny to, uh, as the uh, description for the customs guys, right, adult toys, uh, which is absolutely fine and quite funny because <laughs> we are all adult fans of Lego, most of us here. Uh, but uh, that would be one thing, apart from that this didn't get delivered to our front door. It actually got delivered to our neighbours. So <laughs> quite interesting old couple who are quite sort of traditional and conservative, I suppose, in their outlook, uh, got given a package addressed to me from Sweden with adult toys written on it. So, yeah, thanks for that, you uh, little monster. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they'll ever look at me quite in the same way again. Um, but anyway, let me try and get into this. While you're doing that, I'll, yep. read, I'll read the next one. This is one. very well wrapped. So, dear Robin, I hope all is well with you and the missus and that this package has reached you without any misadventure. Well, that's really funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I would have included this letter inside the package, but I was short on time and wanted to get the parcel to the post office before the collection last week. Turned out I didn't have time for when I was done, so I've added the letter as a package oh to be word. collected and begin its journey on Monday. Right. Stop jiggling, because I think yep. it'll be too noisy. <laughs> um, I hope this reaches you before your haul 100, but it's not the end of the world if it doesn't. Included is, of course, the Rock Monster or poop monster as you intended it to be 
Oh, he said I, I could name the poop monster, and oh, yeah. after some thought, I've decided that a poop monster flinging feces at everyone and everything would have to be named Donald. I think, <laughs> Donald the poop monster. I think we make no comment on that. Oh, he's, he's quite cool. Um, I very much look forward to seeing the dedicated sewer build for him in the future. As you've probably seen, there's a baby croc coming with the new Marvel figures, and maybe mm-hmm. that croc could live near poop monster. Yep. Rather than having escaped like your other croc, this would have been flushed down by some horrible person who got their kid a baby croc and then got rid of it when it became bigger. And you can get an egg as well with a croc eye sort of Ooh. looking out of it as well. So that'd be quite good. That's so this good. is a wonderful rock monster that came in Rock Raiders sets in this brown colour. And I just thought it looked like he was somebody <laughs> kind of made of poop that lived in a sewer. So, yeah, that's where that idea came from. But he is absolutely fabulous. And his arm moves. This arm moves so he can fling poop. So that's quite fun. I'm, I'm intrigued. As <laughs> or to, rocks, as it was originally intended. I was going to say, I'm intrigued as to where your brain goes. <laughs> Um, apart from the monster, I've gifted you a number of bits and bobs. As can be seen, I've marked the bags with new and used so you know which parts need washing. As I've mentioned, as a far more economical, sorry, as I've mentioned, as far more economical source to build in bulk in order to build up a decent stockpile. The way when you bring new projects, you go and check what you have in your stockpile and then supplement with Bricklink orders. Another good tip, I don't think I've mentioned, is trying to find cheap parts on Bricklink and then try to plan a new project based on those plants parts. My thought is that with this parcel, I could help you build up a stockpile, so I've included a very wide range of stuff. Wow. I've put most stuff in pairs, so most stuff there should be two of, and for some there are four or six. I hope these bits and bobs will be a nice addition to your stockpile. That's a lovely thought. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, it'll be very exciting to see what other fans have sent you for Hall 100. I'm also looking forward to seeing you starting your underwater area. And of course, as always, I look forward to your amazing builds and projects. Thank you for allowing us on your journey in creating and building Brick Nottingham. Brick Derby is the worst, by the way. <laughs> um, best regards, Matthias. Wow, wonderful. So I'm not going to tip all these out, but these are all the used parts here. And there's all sorts of bionicle parts and really interesting things and so on. Window frames. I mean, he really has uh, given a very wide range of stuff. And then the bag of new is even more stuff, which I showed you that motorbike in. And we've got plates and door frames and trans bits and all sorts of stuff, which, yeah, should encourage lots and lots of creativity because I've got to say a lot of my builds actually do start with a single piece. You kind of start with one piece and then go from there uh, and your creativity sort of flows from it. So, yeah, that will be really good to get into that and uh, see what it inspires. And thank you very much for Donald the Poop Monster. <laughs> he looks wonderful. And you can see why I think he looks a bit like poop. It's just a colour, really. I can see exactly. I'm just, so if he know. lived in a sewer, that would be quite funny, yeah. I think. So there we go. Wonderful. <laughs> thank you very much indeed. I think that deserves a doing. There we go. Right, let's put that letter safe with the other ones. Okay, so I believe there's one more in this half, and it looks like a biggie. Or have we um, got two there more? There aren't. There no? are this. There's this and another two. Oh, good. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my word! Yeah, we really are going to have to split this hall into two halves, I think. So this is one that's also come from abroad. I can't get it in front no. of the uh, thing, but it's from Germany. And it's from Stefan. And it's from Stefan. So thanks very much, Stefan. And this looks like it has been incredibly well wrapped. So I'm going to get this with my knife oh, and. Tea. Oh, I've totally forgotten my tea. It'll be stone cold by the time I get to it. But anyway, um, golly, I'm actually considering going through cardboard to get in this one. Just because there's so much wrapping. It's unbelievable. Oh, my word. That is probably the best packaged order I've ever... Oh, my word. (laughs) We've got an old school hull of a boat, complete with stickers. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, that set that that came from, I actually had as... No, I didn't. I had a very similar one. But, I, it, yeah, this this is a blue sort of um, freight uh, set. Can you guess what number it is, yeah, uh, Mrs. Hood? Cheating. But, yeah, that is... Wow, that's really old. So we've got a letter here. Right, there we go. I'll read the letter. I'll keep going in here. Oh! Okay, so my from word. Stefan. Um, so, hello, Robin. Please excuse my, excuse my delayed response. I was busy installing solar panels on my balcony. 
After some research, I did a simulation and took the decision to buy them, mounted and connected them to the flat's electric installation. Now it works like a charm. I found some time to look at the old Legos. Well, it sounds like you've been very busy recently, Stefan. Um, oh boy, falling back in time was so nice. It's surprising how the brain works and how those little bricks can revive memories. My dear Robin, I cannot say often enough your design rules are perfect. Please stay to them. Mixing old and new classic sets, making little amendments, keeping the old Lego commercial panorama vibe as you managed to do it. It's just how I would have done it. That's the reason why I entrust you with my oldest ship hull. Oh. Due to its scale, I always struggle to integrate it. Therefore, I challenge you to find a way to integrate it better than as the or boring fishing boat it came from. Maybe as two facades... Um, an oil cargo in the distance, a 3D sign, or even a train cargo. I also joined a sticker sheet from which I only needed one sticker since 1990. So, yeah, look for that. Enjoy these pieces and ah. see you. See Stefan. you. <laughs> feeling dank, Stefan. Yeah, feeling dank. Right. I've now found, oh. I understand the packaging now. We've got this absolutely wonderful sticker sheet. Is this original? Yeah. Yeah. This has um, got some incredibly valuable and sought-after stickers on here. This seems to be sort of uh, an amalgam of lots of different sets. So I know these Ristorante ones are from um, a set that is, I've temporarily gone out of my head, a Paradisa set, which is the sort of restaurant one. We've got the old Snack Bar Burger. I don't even mm. remember these hotel ones. These are the aerials, new aerials, which were in the Shell petrol <laughs> station that was, uh, you know, on the forecourt there. Yeah. Got some TV2 ones. Oh, these ones are from the old monorail set. Oh, what's the number of that? Nearly had that. Ends in 9.9. Mm. <laughs> transport ones. Now, they're ridiculously old stickers, those ones. I don't remember what these international transport ones were on necessarily, but wow, these are some, some incredibly old stickers indeed from... Well, I suppose 80s and 90s sets, yeah. but wow, yeah. absolutely wonderful. I'd definitely be able to put some of those to good use. So actually, you know, as with everyone, but Stefan has definitely given you some of his very special pieces yes. there, which is well, amazing. Yes, very personal and wonderful. And wow, I mean, this is new to me as well. I, I didn't know this existed. Um, and I just absolutely adore little touches like these <laughs> new aerials, because they were actually new at the time, these little bendable aerials. I remember when I was... Uh, enjoying Lego the first time round, that uh, little touches like that were quite funny. So, yeah, I really, really like those. So, oh, thank you so much for that. It's so generous. Uh, and I've made this the SS animal for now. Um, <laughs> but I think I think this would be perfect as maybe a wrecked, are you putting Bigfoot on as well? Yeah. Uh, a wrecked uh, part of my undersea cabinet, perhaps. Ooh. I don't know if that's a good idea or a good place for it. But, um, you know, it's sort of showing its age a little bit. But I think that will make it a really good feature when it's actually part of that cabinet. And we can have uh, all sort of uh, nature going around it and all these plant pieces sort of growing off it and all the rest of it. So oh, I think that, that could be a really good too. idea. Uh, but for now, we'll use it as transport for uh, all our farm animals. <laughs> but wow, that sticker sheet is amazing. God, people have really sent some wonderful things that um, I didn't even know we're about so that is great oh, i mean we're, we're not we're not even halfway through and i'm just blown away by how generous people have yeah been. It's incredible wow it is amazing thank you so much everyone right this is a big one. Oh no oh, and oh, a heavy one oh, oh, right okay. i can't really wave this in that's the corner of it <laughs> do you want to see another corner of it there's another corner of it oh exciting it's massive it's in a reused uh, amazon box yep. just to give it context and scale we don't know who this one's from yet uh no it's from the uk and it oh golly it looks like it's actually an amazon order almost and there's a letter there's that letter take the letter there we go it's got two sets right let, oh, let me read yeah so dear robin my two older sons harry and toby are big fans of the channel and love your funfair mock work hello harry hello toby hi harry my 11 year old eldest has really taken your inspiration building a massive theme park in the loft <laughs> Don't say anything there. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a love double. <laughs> <laughs> and was inspired wow. by your concept of raising the rides to hide his motors and gears. 
He's made a version of your shooting gallery and actually attempted the duck capture game and Batman duck ride before you did. So might need ah. to rework them from your inspiration. He also got me to buy the pieces for your pirate ship mock and we continue to enjoy these Friday Funfair videos. I think they're some of the most interesting and engaging mock videos on YouTube so we look forward to seeing many more. Included are a couple of sets we didn't think you had on the theme park theme. These are Legoland exclusives from Discovery yeah. Centres or Legoland theme parks. We'd love to see what you can do with the parts in your city or funfair, but particularly have wondered what could be done with the Ninjago set, perhaps, in terms of motorisation or motion of some form. We hope you enjoy them and keep up the good work. All the best, Harry, Toby and their dad. Wow, that looks amazing. So these <laughs> are great. Now, I've seen these before. Uh, but like they said, they're only available at Legoland. I can't even show you the logo. Let's see if I can tip it back. But they've got the no, I can't really show you that. We've got too much stuff already. But they're both uh yeah, exclusive to actually going to Legoland. So I am nowhere near uh there. Uh, so I haven't been able to get these, but we've got two. We've got the uh water park one where we've got a couple of different slides. We've got a nice yellow slide there, nice blue one there. Robin, did you know that's set zero um four zero four seven three? And you were reading that and you struggled. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely wouldn't know obscure set numbers like that, that's for sure. We've got a wonderful pretzel seller here. That's really nice, really nice that's sticker. Cool. Got map stickers. I I actually have ordered this torso because I just thought it was beautiful. It's a little sort of uh, wetsuit for a, a kid and he's, it's got a sort of uh, jellyfish with shades on. I just thought that was beautiful. But this is a great set. We've that's even got, amazing. that looks like some sort of play feature there. I don't know what that is. Sun loungers, all the rest of it. And cool. then the challenge... Was trying to incorporate this Ninjago one, which has got more sort of map stickering and signs and so on. What's that? That's can't even make that out. Is that is that a game screen or something like that? I don't know. It's got a got a part. I think they have to shoot it as they oh, go. Oh, they're shooting it. So it's, oh, right. It's a target. So they're actually having to shoot things. What well, I don't know if this is a real ride. It looks a bit difficult, doesn't it? <laughs> so you're whizzing to and fro on this track, and you've got to shoot, shoot targets. Things. Wow. But it's a good idea using those. Um, Cars sort of side on. I quite like that idea. So, yeah, okay, challenge accepted. We'll have to see if we can use this. And there's a sort of temple build here with another photo booth. So that'll be good to have. Uh, yeah, some really that's nice amazing. stickers in all of this. Yeah, I like the idea of that. Motorizing, that's going to be very difficult indeed because it's going to and fro and doing a sort of to and fro motion is going to be hard. But, uh, yeah, uh, wow. So is that it for the first half? Uh, one more to go. So, one more um, to go. Thank you on that, Harry, Toby and Dad. Thanks, Harry. Thanks, Toby. Thanks, Dad. That's definitely worth a bit doing. Right, so last one of the first half. Yeah, and you've got the same amount again to go in the second half. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to do that. No one's going to watch this video if we make it too <laughs> long. So here's another one from the UK. So great apologies already. If your package uh, hasn't made uh, Brick Hall 100 Part 1, it will definitely make Brick Hall 100 Part 2. Uh, and they were purely picked on, well, dividing a huge pile in half. But I think you'd appreciate us going through it with some care, oh, I can't get in this one either, rather than us just whizzing past everything and sort of seeming ungrateful. So that's the thinking behind that. Wow, this has been glued down. I'm about to go through cardboard on this or rip it. It's actually stuck to me now. Here we go. There's a letter. Excellent. Thank you. Right, this one's from Ooh. David. Interesting stuff in here. Okay, get it out. Right, lovely. I'll start reading. Uh, so from David, uh, dear Robin Hood Bricks, Thank you for the entertainment since I found your channel. Your simplified method of showing on-camera builds is elegant and inspiring. That said, I look forward to the build videos and brick hauls equally. Your method of delivery is consistent and comforting. As a thank you, please find enclosed a random selection of parts direct from Lego bricks and pieces I purchased wow. while placing an order for myself. I considered these to either be interesting, unusual or challenging and I'm not sure if I've seen most of them used within the city yet. I look forward to seeing if they can get any use moving forward even if it's just under sea plant life. I look forward to future content on the channel. Best wishes, David. And wow. David's in Inverness. So thank you, David. Thanks, David. So I was actually thinking of getting one of these frames actually for my supermarket build because uh, it's kind of loads of frames all glued together so that's good I'm going to keep these separate because they're all new 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. I've got whoa, 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 little bits We're gone. Last one I can see. <laughs> okay, grab that in a minute. Lots of yellow slides. Now these could really add to the slides uh, as part of that Legoland exclusive set to make an even bigger sort of water park. I might have to have a whole setup that isn't motorized, of course, if I'm going to be using all of these, because getting <laughs> figures mechanically lifted to the top of a slide system might prove difficult. Wow, that's an interesting piece. It's like a sort of cockpit in Ooh, lime green. I like that. Got some good torso pieces here. We've got, oh, what's that? Like an explorer and a Hawaiian shirt. I like that. That's pretty. The backdrop. Yeah, that's yeah. aspen trees. It's part of a, I'm going to say frozen set. Oh, that's gorgeous. Uh, it's definitely one of the Disney ones anyway. Yeah, it's really nice. I've actually got one of those, but I've, I've got, um, oh, I haven't got this. I didn't even know about that one. Oh, which way up is it? There we go. So that's a new piece. That must be part of a Friends or Disney set, presumably. With a bit of cake, uh, pretzel on, and uh, croissant. I, I love the things you get particularly excited by. Yeah, we've got <laughs> snowboard printed pieces, telephone. Head? We've got a head, which is a red clear head uh, Ooh, with the got, oh, bull a... on it. So it's Year of the Bull. It's a Chinese uh, lantern. Ooh. Lovely. So they do a New Year's set each year, and this we are currently in the year of the ox, I think they yeah. call it, rather than uh, bull. Amazing. Uh, skateboard pieces, uh, guitar. guitar. The only reason I'm not tipping these all out is because I just want to mix all the brand new stuff with some of the older stuff. There's a lovely tile there with uh, oh, Safari on. And, oh, golly, that's odd. I don't even know what that is either. That must be a very new piece, sort of angled one with it two. Looks like an orange coffin lid. Yeah, it's weird, that isn't it? I don't even know what that is. So there's another new thing for me. Just shows you that Lego is always what throwing are up those new blue things. things. That is just a interestingly coloured uh, technique wheel, yeah. basically pulley okay. wheel. But that is very interesting as well. That almost looks like the key for something. Mm. It really does look like the key for something. I don't know what that even is. I suppose it could go into one of those sort of Disney-style doors. But that's really interesting. We could present that to somebody as sort of a, a reward for the city. Oh, and that's from the recent uh, Monkey Kid sets, the sort of cloud, sort of exhaust-type piece that would sort of uh, be coming out of the back of something. Yeah, I really like that. Yeah. So thank you very much indeed, David, for all of those uh, and the wonderful bigger pieces and so on that we can definitely use to make a big project. So it seems that I'm going to have to definitely, now we've got that and uh, this, do some sort of water park type thing yeah. as part of the fairground. I'm just worried that with this and now this is a requirement as well, <laughs> that I'm going to run out of space in that area because, I mean, look at all of this stuff. Wow, right, so we are going to have to do this. Unfortunately, it's two halves. I mean, it's just uh, getting uh, out of hand because of your wonderful generosity. Uh, but as a quick summary, we've had loads of bags of bits. We've had a wonderful array of animals from a fantastically large rock monster, a massive great big bitey shark, all of our farmyard animals, an Atlantis <laughs> shark man, <laughs> all these really intricate parts. These doors are a firm favourite from the... Uh, <laughs> a thousand years ago as it described us <laughs> sets <laughs> lots of burp pieces yeah. the donut uh shop this wonderful retro sticker sheet this wonderful uh, new sticker sheet that i wanted with the shark skateboarding this education set which is brand new to me some fun stickers the two legoland exclusive sets yeah. absolutely fabulous New parts and minifigures galore. And I won't forget the sig figs, figs as well. There's the, definitely yeah, a couple there. there and a few more. I think there was one uh, somewhere else as well. We'll dig that out and make sure they get pride of place in the city. Wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, I'm really amazed by your generosity. Uh, sending all of these pieces, sometimes at great cost from far and wide, uh, it's really uh, choked me up, if I'm honest with you. Uh, so, so dumbstruck, really, by your generosity, uh, especially those parts that have meant uh, a great deal to you in the past. And these sheep, wonderful. Oh, I can't believe somebody sent those in. That really is fantastic. Uh, so I really think we're going to have to wait a week for Brick Hall 101 
or 100 part two. Apologies again if we didn't get to yours as part of this, but as you can see, the desk is already overflowing uh, and I just think we'd do it better justice as a second part. So do be patient with us for that. Uh, so until next time, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And if you value this channel, there are many ways in which you can support it. Do check out the link in the description below. Uh, so next time on Robin Hood Bricks, I think we'll wait a week for part two of this just to spread it out a little bit. Enjoy that uh, wonderful warm feeling that I'm getting right now. Uh, so on Friday, we'll do something in the fairground. Monday, something in the city. And then back to this next week. So until then, see you. See you. Nom, 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 n